The backpack kid dance is okay, but this guy over here already had some nice moves back in the day. Hi there, my name is Flavio and welcome to Dreamit Modlet. In this video, I'm going to show you the entire process of creating Crash Bandicoot, starting with the modeling process, with the printing process, and finally with the painting process. I know there are a few Crash Bandicoot models on the internet, but I want to create something unique, like the final pose that he makes when he's doing his dance moves. So let's get started with the modeling process. So I started modeling Crash in ZBrush using these spheres. These spheres is a tool that helps you create the basic shape of the body and for that I look up some photos of him with a front view so I could better understand the idea of his body. For example, his arms are way longer than his legs. With the body proportions all figured out, I start modeling the pose of his dance since that's the 3D model I want to recreate. So I move his arms, torso and head in a way that looks like he's really taking a peek from his back like he does in his final pose of his awesome dance moves. The reason I didn't start with the final pose of his dance was because it is too difficult to get the idea of his morphology only looking at a 2D photo of him all twisted. With the final pose all figured out, from that point on it was just a matter of using the right tools to create the rest of his body. I mostly used the move tool from ZBrush to drag stuff around, the standard tool and the inflate tool as well. And basically what I'm doing here is adding spheres, cubes, all kinds of shapes and then adjusting them to create like his eyes, mouth, nose, hands and so on. So I'm finally going to let you enjoy the rest of the modeling process without me talking. After the 3D modeling was done, it was time to cut the object into different parts so it could be printed easier without as much support as it needed if it was printed in just one piece. So to do it, I used Max Mixer. Max Mixer is a 3D software that allows you to work with 3D objects, giving you several options and one of them is cutting the objects that you are working with. So I separated Crash into his feet, legs, torso and hands and after that I exported them into different files so it could be printed separated. To make sure that Crash could stand on his feet without falling, I used 3D Builder, a free software that comes with windows and use it to cut the bottom part of his feet, creating a parallel plan with the ground. With the 3D model done, it was time to start printing. For that, I used two printers that I own. 
One of them is the Tronxy and the second one is the Anycube i3 Mega. I will list the settings that I used to print this model in the description below of each part that I printed. Overall, the printing process took around 4 hours. Now, I'm going to let you see the printing process and as well the painting process. <laughs> Now that I had the 3D model of Crash Bandicoot printed, it was time to paint it. The first thing I did was apply some primer so I could later sand it in order to make the surface smoother and clear off the lines that are common when we are using PLA to print stuff. After the primer was applied and the object was sanded, it was time to paint it. To do it, I used a mixture of airbrush paints and some acrylic paints as well. When everything was painted, I glue every piece of him back together and use some varnish on his sneakers and eyes to make them more glossy and stand out. So there you go, I'm really happy how this model turned out, either with the modeling process and the paint job that I did as well. If you want more designs from the Crash Bandicoot franchise, please let me know in the comments below and I'll try to make them. This file is going to be available for free and I'll post the link in the description below so you can download it and print it later and test it on your own. I plan on having one video each week showing you the entire process like I did in this video and um, all the designs that I'm going to make are going to be based on uh, comic books, uh, TV series, movies, video games. So if you are into this type of stuff, please subscribe and be the first one to know what I'm up to. Thank you for watching and remember, dream on!